Well, great to see that the future of South African athletics is looking like it's in very good hands, especially where hurdles is concerned. But right now, talking about a very important issue, the issue of diabetes. Listen to this statistic. Uh, the International Diabetes Federation estimates that the current worldwide population of some 382 million people uh, with diabetes will increase to over 590 million within the next 20 years. So that makes it one out of every 10 adults and we have a uh, National Diabetes Day or International Diabetes Day coming up uh, mm. on the 14th of February uh, of November excuse me and uh, we're talking to Dr. Darren Green about this this issue who's affected who's at risk and we invite your calls as well on 0839133728 how are you sir I'm splendid thank very, you very very good when I hear the word diabetes I, I immediately get shivers because uh, my, my grandmother is diabetic yes. I, I knew a guy at 18 years old who was already insulin dependent as I was telling you and he was walking around with this little pouch with all of his medicine inside and every exactly. now and then he'd have to inject himself so it's a very scary prospect but let's first start by defining diabetes what exactly is it and what happens to the body yeah, basically people typically present with an uncontrolled sugar level or an uncontrolled glycemia glycemia yes so a hyperglycemia is brought about on different mechanisms and that's mm -hmm. how you get the different types of diabetes okay type one is where your body doesn't manufacture insulin because the, the specialized cells in the pancreas are damaged by an mm -hmm. autoimmune process type 1 diabetes type 2 your body can manufacture insulin but there's a difference in having either too much insulin or having decreased sensitivity mm -hmm. to the insulin peripherally with all the receptors and then you get gestational diabetes which only occurs in pregnancy mm -hmm. and then a mature onset diabetes in the young for yeah. example so I guess it goes a lot further than because I mean when I grew up uh, you'd have uh, I guess um, older people saying which means I've got the sugar basically yeah. so it, it, it's a lot more complex than that um, indeed. and what are some of the warning signs I mean how do you how do you diagnose somebody and say well those are some of the telltale signs you probably are diabetic. The quickest way is to remember the three P's, Katla. And the three P's stand for polyuria. You get up and you wee a lot at night, particularly, which is nocturia. So polyuria, polydipsia, you get thirsty. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is polyphagia. You eat and you don't get full. Okay. And then you get other symptoms associated as well, things like fluctuations in mood that can be quite uh, significant due to the sugar dropping suddenly or getting wow. too high. Mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously things like fungal infections uh, in places that make you itch. Uh, so if you have those problems recurrently, certainly consider having your sugar yeah. tested. Yeah. And just to kind of put it into perspective for some people that might not realize it, how serious is the problem of diabetes and why is it so serious, if so? It's a... Uh, a really really big problem in the sense that it's, it's a killer and putting it plainly 15% of diabetics are type 1 generally and the, and the rest are type 2 diabetics which is primarily a lifestyle disease in other words you can actually prevent developing diabetes type 2 diabetes by not being sedentary mm -hmm. by eating correctly and by living a healthy life yeah. why it's so dangerous is because of its effects on the blood vessels particularly sugar circulating in the blood that's that's too high acts as an acid burning the inside or damaging the inside lining of your blood vessels sure. predisposing you to to the wrong types of cholesterol then like velcro sticking to it and then leading to complications either in the small blood vessels or the big ones yeah causing stroke and heart disease sure oh my goodness okay well you've brought some equipment here with you yes um, what exactly are we going to be doing with that well this is a is what we call a HGT uh, monitor and it helps us to test your sugar basically in the mornings okay uh, is that the best time to the test? best time to do it is a fasting sugar so you have when you haven't eaten okay for well, example, right now for I've just had six to eight six to eight hours yeah fasting uh, glucose is very useful in in, in screening people for diabetes we're we doing a test right now but we're doing a random glucose okay and if if you have a, a fasting glucose on two occasions more than seven for example we make the diagnosis of diabetes so with associated symptoms I can't help but be nervous right now because my grandmother is diabetic so uh, okay well <laughs> but, but, but but if it's but if it's a random glucose more than 11 more than 11 it's enough as well and that's all done already is that it that was it I that, didn't even that, feel that, it that was the that was the prick that was a very light prick indeed. Yes. I think you'll have to just do another one. Yes, I think you've got very, <laughs> very strong, uh, strong skin here. It's that time of the morning. <laughs> well, give us a call. Uh, 83 913 we'll, we'll do my test uh, during the break and then reveal the results. But talking about that, um, the fact that my grandmother is, is diabetic, we'll talk about how genes play a role 
and uh, we'll have we'll be taking the calls, of course, uh, hearing your questions at home. So one more time, 083-913-3728. Dr. Darren Green is here taking your calls. We're talking about diabetes as we look upon World Diabetes Day coming on uh, Friday the 14th of November. Leanne, over to you.